Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make AmpSim sound more authentic. Now, the AmpSim that I'm going to be using today is Ampire by Personas. Even though this plugin is made by Personas, this isn't a Studio One only AmpSim. You can actually use this on any DAW that you wish as it's multi platform. And personally, I feel this is one of those amp sims that actually does quite a good job at making guitar tones feel authentic. Just to let you know, this is not a sponsored video. We haven't been sponsored by Exotic, by Ibanez or by Personas to make this video. These are just the sort of tricks that I would use if I was using an amp sim plugin. Now, there's a certain thing with amp sims that you get where you can sort of hear some sort of digital aliasing. And I'll demonstrate that if I actually play a chord. Now, when I strum that chord initially, it sounds like an amplifier and it behaves in a way that I would expect an amplifier to react. It's when the note is dying out that you start to hear this sort of warble and this sort of aliasing. Now, if I chug on the low strings, you can really hear that emphasized. Let's bring in the tube screamer first of all. Now, I've got the overdrive turned all the way down. And now, if I play that same sort of chugging part with the tube screamer on, it sounds like this. So it's really sorted out the bottom end and now it sounds more like an amplifier and it sounds more like a JCM 800, which is what this plugin is trying to emulate. Right now let's switch to a different amp model on this plugin. If I switch to the Fender style amp, Now that to me sounds exactly like it should. It sounds like a Les Paul plugged into a blackface style amp. Now, if I turn the tube screen on, let's see what happens. Because the tube screamer doesn't do a very good job at that sort of transparent sort of sound, it's not really suitable for clean parts. So what can we do? Well, you can choose a more boutique style pedal, something like the Exotic FX BB preamp. This is actually the AT edition. With this, you can do everything that a Tube Screamer does, but it's completely transparent, and I'll demonstrate that. So let's turn off the Tube Screamer, and let's bring in the BB preamp. So what we've got with the BB preamp, it's doing everything that a tube screen is doing. It's taken off that sort of flubby bottom end, but it's completely transparent. And this is great for so many different reasons because I can use this as a clean boost. and I can also use it to bring in the right amount of drive. The great thing about the BB preamp compared to the Tube Screamer is the BB preamp has got tons of gain on tap. So what I'm gonna do is to go back to the Marshall setting. And it's got far more clarity than the Tube Screamer. Now, 
even though the BB preamp is roughly built on the same sort of circuit design as the Tube Screamer, the thing that makes the BB preamp really special is it's got a Bax and Dahl EQ. Now what that means is you actually have shelving EQ on the treble and the bass and the frequencies don't overlap. And because the Q factor on this pedal is so wide that it always sounds musical. Now I've changed the guitar because there's one more pedal that I want to demonstrate and that's this pedal which is the Double Dreamer from Jam Pedals. Now this is a double pedal. Again, it's a Tube Screamer style pedal, but it's basically two Tube Screamers and it does quite a clever thing because on the right hand side, we've got a Tube Screamer with a mix control. Now, arguably this is probably the most useful out of all of the three pedals and it sounds absolutely fantastic. Something else I think sounds really good is another amp inside of Empire. Now, if I click here, I can choose all my different amps, but I'm going to choose the VC30. It's like an AC30 style amp. Now, personally, I think the AC30 tones inside of Empire are really good and some of the best you can get, actually. And it sounds like this. <laughs> It's nice and charming and personally I think that's a really good emulation of an AC30 style tone. Let me just uh, let me just add some extra effects in. Now I'm going to be doing a separate video on my favourite DAW effects uh, from different companies and if you want to see that video let me know in the comments and I'll get around to that as soon as possible. <laughs> Now, because of this mix control in the Double Dreamer, if I play without first. You can dial in the amount of the Tube Screamer tone with this mix control here. You've also got a higher game mode. Which you can switch from either side of the pedal or have it on both sides. And with this, you've also got the normal sort of tube screamer side of the pedal, which is this side. And then for extra bonus, you can actually stack all of these together. Now, if you do use a lot of amps in plugins, I'd highly recommend getting a Tube Screamer style pedal. Now you can do it fairly cheaply. You can just go and get an Ibanez Tube Screamer. There are actually even cheaper versions than that. But I'd recommend the Tube Screamer if you don't really want to get too clean. Or the other pedals like the BB Preamp or the Tube Dreamer from Jam Pedals are excellent as alternatives if you want to take it just a little bit further. Anyway, I really hope you guys got something out of this. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Click on the bell button and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul and I'll see you next time. Cheers.